Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to go over the challenge, say your name, here part of our JavaScript. So obviously um, you can see that I'm already on here. And uh, let's take a look at this one. This one's probably the most difficult one of the four challenges that we're going to look at today. So as you guys can see up here at the top, it says, what's your name? All right. It says, this program says hi to you at a random point on the screen. It says, change the name variable so that it says your name instead. Okay. It says, hint, your name should be a string. So make sure you keep it inside the quotation marks. Okay, what they're talking about is right here. So you guys can see the variable. It says, say your, it says your name equals your name. And you can even see up here at the hint, uh, which uh, obviously should always be checking. So what I want to do, instead of it saying your name right here, I'm just going to remove your name and I'm going to type in my name. So I'm going to say Mr. Desor. There you go. So that's step one. And you can see that uh, obviously step one is finished. Got the little thumbs up there. So we're going to go to the next step. Now, step two, uh, this is probably the most difficult or confusing uh, step here for most students. It says it's time to wrap your code in a function. So when you think about wrap, think about like if you ever got like, a birthday gift and it was wrapped, the wrapping paper goes around the outside of the gift. Same type of concept here. So it says uh, start off by creating a new function, paying close attention to parentheses and curly braces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next one, it says move all of your code inside the function. And then the last one, call your new function once to make sure it works. Okay, so obviously what we're going to do, we're going to make a new variable that's going to uh, go around all of the code that I currently have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm just going to enter twice, and I'm going to type in var, and notice I'm looking up here at my hint as well. VAR space. I'm just going to call this name. So I'm going to call this variable name. Remember, we could pretty much call our variables anything. And I'm going to say function, parenthesis, parenthesis, open curly brace. And since I have an open curly brace, I have to have a closed curly brace. And remember, I want to wrap all this in here. So I'm going to put a closed curly brace down here with a semicolon. Now, um, as you guys could see, oh, there we go. Uh, I have all of my code that was originally here inside of my open curly brace and closed curly brace, and that's proper. All right, now my last step, I just have to call this name variable on time. So all I was going to do is say name, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon, and there's my name. It pops up. Okay, because <clears throat> now. As you guys can see, we're going to move on to our third step. So I'm going to go next step. And this is quite easy as well. As it says, now that we have it in the function, it's easy for us to call it multiple times. Call it at least three more times. All right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to say name, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon, two times. Name, parenthesis, parenthesis, three times, two times. And then name, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. So there's my three additional names on there. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, just a, a quick overview of what's going on here. Notice it's placing it in a random position between 0 and 300. All right, so my text Y uh, and text X. It's calling my name four times because that's what I called it outside. Remember, it's only going to be, my name's only going to be called four times because that's all I called it down here at the bottom. All right. If it was in here, yes, I could call it over and over and over again. Okay. So if you're wondering what it would look like, if you just typed in something like this, there you go. So it just calls it so many times it fills up the screen that you can't even see it. So we don't want that. All right. So if you ever saw a mistake like that, it means that you put your uh, variable um, up here inside of the curly braces. We want them outside the curly braces. So hopefully that helps out. And uh, if you have any questions, again, please let me know. And uh, again, this should be relatively easy if you just kind of look at those directions and uh, follow along. All right. Take care, guys.